Hey guys, uh, I'm back to read another story. Uh, this time I've got Rapunzel. Um, this is a very old book, um, older than I am even, uh, but this is the story of Rapunzel. Um, it's from Disney. Once upon a time, a lot, once a long time ago, there lived a man and his wife who were about to have a child. They lived in a little house next to a very powerful witch. The witch had a lovely garden at the back of her house where she grew very fine vegetables. The wife had a compelling desire for a salad made, for, made from the vegetables in the witch's fine garden. Compelling means strong. She had a strong want strong desire. She really wanted those veggies. So one night, the man crept into the garden to pick some lettuce, radishes, onions, and tomatoes. The witch saw him. How dare you enter my garden, cried the witch. You'll be very sorry. Oh, please, begged the man. My wife is about to have a baby, but she'll die if she does not have the strength she would get from these vegetables. If, that, if what you say is true, said the witch, you may take whatever you want from my garden. However, demanded the witch, when your child is born, you must give it to me and I will raise it as my, as my own. The man was so terrified, he agreed to the witch's demand. Soon the child was born and the witch appeared. She named the baby Rapunzel and took her away. Oh, how awful. Rapunzel be became a beautiful girl with long golden hair. When she was 12 years old, the witch shut her up in a tower in the woods. The tower had no stairs, no doors, just a small window at the very top. When the old witch wanted to get in, she stood underneath and called, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. Rapunzel had very long plates, which is another word for braids. And whenever she heard the witch, she undid them and let her hair fall down the side of the tower. The witch would then climb up. One day, a handsome prince rode past the tower and heard Rapunzel singing, but he couldn't see her, nor could he find a way into the tower. He was very unhappy until he, heard, until he saw the witch approach and heard her call out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. She let down her hair and the witch climbed up. The next day, after the witch had gone from the tower, the prince approached and cried, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair. She did, and the prince climbed up at once. At first, Rapunzel was frightened by the prince or when the prince came into her tower, for she had never seen a man before. But the prince spoke to her kindly and told her of her beauty. Rapunzel soon forgot about her fear, and when the prince asked her to marry him, he, she agreed. How will I get down from this prison tower, she asked. I will come to see you each day, said the prince, and each time I will bring a reel of silk. You can weave it into a ladder. When the ladder is finished, you can climb down and we will ride away on my horse. The witch knew nothing of what was going on until one day, Rapunzel, not thinking, mentioned to the witch that she was certainly heavier than the prince to pull up into the tower. The witch was furious she cut off Rapunzel's hair and took her away from the tower to be lonely into a lonely place in the desert. The witch returned to the tower, fastened Rapunzel's golden hair to the inside of the window and waited for the prince. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your golden hair, said the prince. The witch let down the hair and the prince climbed up. Instead of finding his beloved Rapunzel, he found the witch. Oh my goodness. He looks scared. She's gone forever, cried the witch. You'll never find her again. The prince jumped down from the tower to escape the evil powers of the witch, but was blinded by the thorns that grew below. He wandered blind and miserable for several years. 
ever searching for his beloved Rapunzel. At last he came to the desert, the very desert where Rapunzel was living. He heard her singing and went towards the voice. When he was very close, Rapunzel recognized him and ran to his side and wept. Two of her tears touched his eyes and suddenly he was able to see again. He led her to his kingdom where they were welcomed by everyone. They married and lived happily ever after. The end. Well, it's a classic story. I hope you had, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a great night. Have a nice one.